Well, this um, beautiful Sunday, the second Sunday of Easter, as most of you know, is also called Divine Mercy Sunday, and uh, so named by John Paul many years ago. But what a beautiful illustration of his mercy. First of all, just look at the greeting that Jesus gives. He says, peace be with you. Now, in English, peace has kind of just kind of come to mean the, the absence of conflict, you know, so we're not yelling at each other, and I'm not trying to kill you or something. But in, in, in the ancient Hebrew and also in the Greek, the Greek word is Irene, or Irene, Irene here, and, and we see that um, both shalom and Irene mean that the presence and the relationship of everything that should be there. And Jesus could never have said this before, before now because there was no peace, because our access to the Father was closed. But now, now the heart of the Father is made available to us, and so there is shalom, there's peace. Now, as regards the need for mercy, of course, look how merciful he is to, to them who abandon him, but also to Thomas, very merciful. And so we start to see that this is a great sign of mercy, but ponder with me, uh, Sister Faustina in her diary. Now, remember, he's talking to a religious in a convent, in a cloistered convent, and he said to her one day, he said, Faustina, if you were ever to see the real mess that you are, you would die of fright. But in my mercy, I protect you from this and tell sinners that the worse their sins, the more they deserve my mercy. Deserve. We have a right, he says, to his mercy. Why? Because God's justice is his fidelity to his promises. And God has promised it, and he will do it. So that's our need for mercy. Maybe a final word of caution to all of us that we can affect the standard that God will use to judge us. Either God will be merciful with us or he'll be strict. And he himself has said, blessed are the merciful, for they will obtain mercy. Uh, likewise, the book of James warns, uh, merciless is the judgment on the one who has received no mercy. And so I would advise you, as I must advise myself, on the day of judgment, I'm going to need lots of mercy and grace, all right? So I would advise you to try to show mercy, but you're not going to until you finally receive it. I would encourage you today, yes, we've gone past the passion now, but I would advise you, sit before the crucifix and just be astonished at the Lord's mercy for you. Let it sink in. Weep for your sins and weep for joy at the mercy of God. Receive it, and then you'll show it, and then you'll be judged mercifully on the day of judgment. A happy and glorious Divine Mercy Sunday to you all.